Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we're going to get the classic start menu on Windows 10. So don't go anywhere. Okay folks, so a while back I did a video on how to install Classic Shell. It's actually been several years ago and I wanted to do an update on that primarily because Classic Shell is no longer under active development. It's now known as Open Shell and it's actually a fork of Classic Shell. But we're just going to go through the process here and see how we get our classic start menu back. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to click the start menu here, and this is what you get out of the box with Windows 10. Now, I personally am not able to be productive with this start menu. So I like the classic start menu from Windows 7 and, and prior. So let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge here. I'm going to paste and go. And this is the open shell menu. It's a reborn version of classic shell. I will put this link in the description so that you can get a hold of this as well. I'm going to go ahead and download. It's going to take me to GitHub. This is the latest at the time of this recording is 4.4.142. I'm going to go ahead and left click the executable here and it's going to download that. I'm going to execute it. Almost exactly like classic shell. I'm going to accept the defaults. And we're going to say finish. And once we say finish, I'm going to left click the start button. And I get the open shell menu. This is going to happen the first time that we open it after the installation. I choose the Windows 7 style. I like that the best. We can select a skin. I use Metro, but you can change that around if you like. We're just going to keep that. We can replace the Start button if we choose. I like the Windows 10 Start button, so we'll leave that in place. We have some settings, some basic settings here. We can go through and we can tune these to our preferences. I like the default, so I'm just going to leave those there. And we've already viewed the skinning area. So we'll go next to the customized start menu area. And these are additional customizations that we can make. It's so pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and say OK. So let's go ahead and open this new start menu. And as we can see, we have our classic Windows 7 style start menu back. We have my control panel, my settings, devices and printers, and so on and so forth. And I can search and do all that fun stuff. So this is how we do it. So hopefully this helps you be a little more productive on Windows 10 by giving you back your classic start menu. Folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other YouTubers find quality content, and we really appreciate it. Click the subscribe button, and then click the bell to get notified whenever new content is added. As always, comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome below, and we thank you very much for watching.